Hey guys, what's going on? Max FTE here, and today I'm back with another Great League Remix video. Today we're going to be looking at a team of Whimsicott, Skeledirge, and Jellicent. Really fun team. I've been, I had a full day of, I did all five of my sets, um, and I got four positive sets, I want to say. I uh, managed to climb 200 points, which was really good. But yeah, did you also know that only 3.3% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed? So if you're enjoying, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe, helps on the road to 10k. But yeah, let's jump into the battles. So as I said, this is a team of Whimsicott, Skeledirge and Jellicent. Whimsicott is going to be running Fairy Wind, Grass Knot and Moonblast. Skeledirge, obviously with your standard moveset of Incinerate, Disarming Voice and Shadow Ball, as well as Jellicent with Hex, Surf and Shadow Ball as well. Um, I, re I really enjoy the Whimsicott lead at the moment. There's a lot of things that is really good against. Very similar to my sort of Obama Snow video that I did before. A lot of water type leads and a lot of... Uh, charge bug leads funnily enough which is actually what we are up against right now and so the sort of grass typing there does really well against a lot of the things that are sort of running around in this meta a lot of polyrath uh, leads as well which I've noticed obviously you do have to sort of spend shields for the polyrath matchup however getting that sort of switch advantage is quite nice as you can see even here uh, I've got switch advantage and shield advantage with this matchup, which is really good. Skeledirge is another one that I think is really, really, a really strong Pokemon for even, not even just this meta, but Great League in general. I think the Incinerate buff did wonders for that thing. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with Skeledirge. Jellicent as well, slightly underrated. For this sort of meta, I'm not sure. Maybe there's, uh, there's things to be said about running Bubble or Hex. Personally, I've been running Hex on it. I've been, obviously you're weaker against your sort of normal types like your Greedent, Lickitung, Vigoroth. I'm trying to think, there's not really many dark types actually going about in the Great League Remix, so maybe uh, Hex is a bit better. So yeah, looking solid anyway. They're gonna go for a dig, I want to say here, and I'm gonna shield that up. Obviously that would take us out. I'm gonna go for, straight for a Surf. This is gonna do quite a lot of damage. Um, gonna get them into the very low yellow. Thankfully, because we did back up back to back surfs, we can just go straight for them. Take out the Gligar, go for two. <laughs> I was really worried. I think I actually almost fumbled that game because I think they were probably very close to back to back crunches on the gradient. So we probably could have fumbled that. Thankfully, they didn't. So looking quite nice. Whimsicott gonna go for the Moonblast here up against the Gligar. Gligar is a bit of a, it's quite a tricky lead. It's, obviously you're hitting various for, you're hitting for neutral damage with your Whimsicott. You are however taking neutral damage, sorry, super effective I should say. What I generally like to do with the Whimsicott damage is farm up to, is, sorry, what I'll either do is I'll count for five wing attacks, obviously that's when the Gligar reaches Aerial Ace, and then I'll swap into the Skeledirge, try and catch the Aerial Ace onto the Skeledirge, or I'll let them go for one Aerial Ace, see whether they actually threw it on five or if they overcharge. As um, soon as they reach the point where they would have, where they've done 10 wing attacks, then I would swap into the Skeledirge and try and catch again. But, like I say, a bit of a tricky one, um, it just, a lot of people play it differently, um, just sort of, yeah, it is what it is. Jellicent in here against the Gligar, they're gonna go for the dig, we should unfortunately, we didn't come in with the Whims caught, could have caught the dig on there, that's alright though. They come in with the Polyrath and we're gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball before our attack gets debuffed. Polyrath versus the Jellicent, that's a very positive match for the, for the... Jellicent. To be honest, Polyroth is actually something that this entire team does quite well against. If your shield's up with the Skeledirge, you can hit for, obviously your Incinerate, it's not very effective, but you're still hitting for a lot of damage, as well as you're super effective with your Disarming Voice. Um, Polyroth is not something that you should be struggling against with this team. I'm just going to hex down the Gligar. <clears throat> Next battle in here, we've got the Polyrath lead. This is a really good lead. We're happy to see that. It is quite surprising though. It just does show how good of a move counter it is. Or to be honest, it might actually just show how frail and sort of glassy Whimsicott is. But you can see that the Fairy Wind and the counter are 
the counter is actually probably doing more damage to be honest obviously fairy wind's not really a it's not a sort of damage orientated move it's more energy generation but still uh yeah there i try to catch a x scissor on the skeledirge obviously I failed there i think i let this go through and thankfully it's a discharge most of the time the charger bugs will be running discharge and x scissor if you do however have crunch if they do however have crunch it's probably going to be a losing match for the scale dirge thankfully we're just going to shield up there and manage to farm all the way down they've got no shields as well so if they come in with a polyrath we're looking really good just going to wait and see what they do come in with they come in with a diggers bee which um <clears throat> that's quite good i'm happy with that because they've got quick attack as well uh we are going to be able to just get to another another disarming voice and I want to say probably just gonna go straight into the Jellicent and <laughs> thankfully they do go for a move as well they probably could have easily farmed us down but um, yeah making them waste their energy really good and yeah coming with the Jellicent build up to the surf gonna go for the one surf I think one of them is just gonna be caught just short of taking them out uh, they go for the scorching sands thankfully they don't I, I can't remember if that has an attack drop chance doesn't it i go for the moon blast with the whims caught against the polyrath and at this point it's just game over <laughs> it was sort of it was over before it started really for that trainer another charge bug lead happy to see that happy to see it on the lead so that the jellicent doesn't have to see it um i'm just gonna keep building up energy I'm gonna let the first one go through and they do go for the x scissor that's only hitting for neutral damage thanks to the fairy type of the whimsicott gonna shield up the, sh the second one and probably gonna go for a moon blast i want to say wasted energy there because i was at 100 so just make sure you're sort of watching your how much energy you've got make sure you're not sort of letting those fast moves go to waste in for the, with the moon blast that's gonna just barely not take them out which is really unfortunate i want to say i let this go through I'm going to come in with the Jellicent, just because I know that the the Hex is obviously a turn shorter than the Volt Switch. So, yeah, we're going to get that damage off there. They come in with the Polarath against the Jellicent, and that lets me know that whatever they have in the back really doesn't want to see Jellicent. Or maybe they just <laughs> weren't paying attention when they swapped in. We are, however, going to let their moves go through. There is actually nothing they can throw that is even neutral. I don't think. What has is, what is this thing got? Ice Punch, Icy Wind, Dynamic Punch, Submission, Hydro Pump. Yeah, we're, we're looking sorted against this thing. Gonna let the next move go through as well. Gonna be a Scald. And of course they do get the attack drop. Typically, 50-50. But when it's the opponent that does it, it's 100%. Taking them out there. And they do have the Gligar. Now... Because we do have a shield, we will be okay. Because it's really good as well, actually. Being a ground type versus a fire type, you would think that this Skeledurge would get thumped. Thankfully, the incinerates are doing neutral damage. So you can see how much I had chunked away there. And going to get one last incinerate off there. <clears throat> Take out the Gligar. Wim's got into the Gligar. This is the uncomfortable lead that I was talking about. So three, four, five so they threw on five there so i want to say what i do here is shield up count for another five and then catch or try and catch on this gligar or skeldirge sorry uh that should be three that they're at just now going for the moon blast they're gonna let that go through four five and i do manage to catch the aerial ace thankfully so obviously dig would be doing a lot of damage aerial ace doesn't really do that much against the against the skeldirge just because aerial ace is a pretty crap move Disarming voice. I'm gonna be hitting for super effective and incinerates as well. Gonna be chunking. Unfortunately, they are just gonna get to a move there. And I want to say, okay, no, I let that go through. Okay, um, yeah, I think Mandibuzz is sort of something that this team does struggle a bit against. Plus, as well, they do have sh two shields up. I think maybe my play would have been shielding up the Skeledirge and just incinerating that thing down <clears throat> unfortunately though they are going to get yeah they're going to shield that up i'm thankfully able to get to another move there 
It is a grass dot, so they probably could let it go if they wanted. Uh, but it was the CMP tie. So Whimsicott is going to be going down. And it's going to be all up to Jellicent here. But I think they are just barely going to get to another move, which is <clears throat> unfortunate. This is going to be a do in about half health. Just barely. And they're going to swap into their Gligar. I go for the Surf. I probably I would have been able to charge up a bit more energy actually there. Probably should have done that. Um, go straight for the surf as well. And <clears throat> at this point we need like a, a hoopa or something, something that's really, really frail. I, I mean situations like that. I don't know why you wouldn't just come in with a Steelix straight away and just get it over and done with. It's just prolonging things for no reason, you know. Um, <clears throat> really strange. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah, gonna lose that match, unfortunately. That was a nice 4 1. Um, overall, a really solid team. I had a lot of fun with it today. Did, like I said, did four, five, all five of my sets with it and went positive in four of them. So, <clears throat> currently at around 2,350 ish ELO. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you've got any team suggestions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace.